Welcome to Elex 2. This is the full and final version of the game that we are playing early. So thanks so much to Piranha Bikes for sending it over to me. I'm so excited to check it out since I played Elex 1 many years ago. Elex is basically a sci-fi open world RPG game with difficult but rewarding combat. And it's really got a special place in my heart because it's a proper role play game with different factions you can join and different implications for your actions and Elex 2 very much builds on this idea. If you played Elex 1 you'll know the combat was a bit janky and some things definitely looked unpolished but trust me if you invest time into this game a lot of you I feel like will very much enjoy it because it's one of those few games that's just made with a lot of passion and love from the same people that made Gothic and Risen as well. So it's got a lot of heritage to it. And you don't need to play Elex 1 to play this because the game's intro, which you'll see in this episode, very much explains kind of what's going on and gives you the gist of everything in the prologue. Essentially, Jax, the main character, failed to warn all the factions about an incoming alien invasion, which kicks off at the start of the game. So let's go ahead and start part one of our Elex 2 playthrough. And if you guys love what you see, you can get 10% off using my link down below in the description at GOG. Let's begin. Magalon, home to a civilization of millions. 166 years have passed since the comet hit, turning everything to ashes. A new era has begun. The war between the free people and the Alps is over. The hybrid lost control of its armies and ceased to function. The Albs became understanding and peaceful. The Elix was released and once again spread across the entire hemisphere below the Alb's ice palace. But humans are quick to forget. Many of the larger settlements claimed the victory as their own and paid little interest to the affairs of others. Only a few remember those dark times, or one Commander Jax. My name and my deeds faded away in the mists of myth and legend. Many years after the war with the Alps, humankind is plagued by petty conflicts and territorial disputes. even though there's still the persistent uneasiness about the strange celestial phenomenon that was called forth by the hybrid before its defeat. I know that an unknown foe will come soon. The lives of all the aware will be shaken to their very core. All my efforts to prepare humanity for this impending danger were for naught. Humans forget. A vague, unknown threat looming in the sky quickly became nothing but a small, daily nuisance to most. Until now. It's all about to kick off. I'm excited. <laughs> this looks beautiful. This is what became of our hero, Jax, from Elex One. A trap. Oh, spike trap on the ceiling. He was he was a hero, but he's living in this this dirty little shack. Is this what becomes of heroes after they complete the roleplay game experience? It's been a long time since Elex won. Maybe he has a son now as well. Look like a child at least.
Nope. I'll be out of there too. And now he has no house. Oh no. Yo, this is sick. Took one out though. Two out. Jax is still a badass though. Damn it. I better get out of here before these things make short work of me. New mission. Nothing to lose. <laughs> Wait, was this where our house was? Dude, this is completely destroyed. But there's a campfire here, there's some raw mate we can pick up. It's always good to turn around and check behind you before proceeding. I miss Shit. playing. This damn tower landed right on my house. I guess I can forget about my gear. He's even got a dialogue option for it. We can use a campfire one. So this is the food crafting menu. We can make some raw meat, which I'll probably need later. Let's go ahead and craft some of this. We'll craft all three of it. Okay. Uh, this game is very punishing, by the way. So enemies will destroy you at a moment's notice. That's what I vividly recall from Elex It's too one. dangerous here. I better get moving before they spot me. Yeah. Some arrows. Okay, we're going to have a bow and range weaponry again. I remember range weaponry being really bad in Elex one, though. At least early on. I'm excited to try it out this time. We have a first. I wonder if this is the son of the one I killed earlier. Oh, Jesus. Okay, draw a weapon. Come at me. I mean, that hit me. Come at me. Let's go. Oh, I can kick it as well. Okay. Oh, let's go for a power attack. Oh, big damage. Okay, so we have a stamina bar on the bottom right. Okay, I got you. I'm out of the bush. Here he comes. There we go. Oh, one sec. So I knocked his stamina down. And now we can just go ham because he's fallen over. So the LB attack like this interrupts them mid attack, which is really in interesting. Now we can loot this creature. We got some teeth and bones. This game has crafting as well. It has like blacksmithing and stuff like that. So that's something I'm definitely going to be doing on this playthrough. It's like, oh, oh, we have herbs. Oh no, I've probably missed some as well. Usually I cut a lot of the looting out in between episodes, but um, you guys get angry at me if I if I loot, if I miss things. So you know always a problem um symbol of Kalan. okay one of the old faction let's get the hell out of here there was a couple of enemies up ahead i want to be careful i want to kind of preserve my health bar here boom we can hit them both at the same time. Oh, amazing. Ow. Okay, let's see if I can interrupt his attack again. There we go. But I don't think I take damage from that. And then the kick ability seems to reduce the enemy stamina, which means you can knock them down and stuff. Kind of interesting. to think in the first game i would have been dead at this point so clearly playing dark souls has improved my my gaming capability i like how we have lots of stuff to actually loot little healing potion on the side here oh one sec i can jump and if i hold down a i can actually stealth interesting 
This looks, yeah, honey blossom, so I can pick that up. There's another Ugh, one. Even more of those beasts, of course. Hmm. We should probably try to sneak by them. I'm tempted to just see if we can kill them. But considering he said we should try and sneak past them, I'm assuming that's not going to be very possible. Gonna have to go and run for it, I guess. So we did kill them with a. Oh, okay, we got a cutscene. These cutscenes are proper high end now. Clearly, Elex One did very well for Piranha Bites. There goes my arm. Oh no, it's just a flesh wound. We're fine. To give you an idea, Jax is essentially G.I. Joe, or Action Man. That's the face of Triumph there. Okay. <laughs> Who does he think he is? Not even the aliens are going to chance that. Suspicious character. It's my dad. Take it slowly. You haven't recovered from that bite yet. It'll be a while before you get all your strength back. So perhaps you should put off anything too demanding for a few days. Who are you? Oof. What happened? Where's my stuff? So it seemed, I hope the game continues like this, because it seems like we have a lot of different dialogue options. Who are you? You can call me Adam. Just think of me as a friend who was in the right place at the right time. That's all you need to know. What happened to me? Ugh, what happened? You should know. You were there. The invaders arrived, started taking over the world, transforming it. Transforming? Terraforming, right? That's an alien species? Hmm. A most hostile, most dangerous species. So they're not just in Caracas. Their formers have appeared in every region, threatening life everywhere. It's not clear what they want yet. All they're doing for now is spreading infection, killing and destroying. Not a promising start. Not ideal. Something's not right. A weak. Yeah, we got bitten, didn't we? Something's not right, I feel. I feel weak. Mm, yes, you were bitten by one of those creatures. Looks like it infected you. Some kind of disease. Disgusting. What? A disease? I'm still not sure how it works, but it's clearly all part of the invaders' plan. At the rate they're transforming things, it won't be long before the whole of Magalan is overrun with their plants and animals. Oh, great. You were lucky. It could have been a lot worse. If I were you, I'd stay out of their way and not tempt fate. All other instances of direct contact so far have proved fatal. Where's my stuff? If you're talking about the belongings you had in that hut, you can forget about them. <laughs> All I could save is what you have on you. How long have I been out? A few days. You're still badly hurt. I did what I could with your wounds. Days? No. Dex! Who's Dex? Come on, I'll meet you there! Oh god, is that Be a careful. son? Dex! He looks like an adult in his child's body. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
He looks exactly like my friend. Hey! How dare you, animal, interrupt me and my son. Damn it! My son's out there somewhere. I have to find him. Then I'd say you'd better do that before anything else. I'm getting Fallout 4 vibes now. I'm getting uh, Nam flashbacks. Find your son. Why are you helping me anyway? Why are you helping me? These invaders are a threat to us all, and yet no one even seems to have noticed they're here. Everyone's so busy fighting each other, they can't see who the real enemy is. That's where you come in. You might be an outsider to them right now, Jax, but you're strong, smart, capable. You know who I am? I know you did your best to disappear, but not everyone's forgotten you. Oh. I need your help to save Magalan, to lead a resistance group. I call it the Sixth Power, a faction separate from all the others, focused on stopping this invasion. I'll show it to you. Meet me in the bastion north of here. No way. I tried to warn people years ago. No one listened. Thank you. Now we've got the total annihilation of the planet staring us in the face, and still, all anyone cares about is their own stupid shit. I'm done caring about it. I have my own problems. All right. Then deal with your own problems first. We can talk again later. The World Heart to the North. Is it still there? As far as I know, yes. The Berserkers are watching over it. Why do you ask? My son's with them. Then you should go. While things are still quiet around here, it won't stay that way for long. You know where to find me. You know, you'd get around a lot faster with a jetpack. I have one left. Take it. Like I said, go to the Bastion when you're ready. We have a lot of work to do. I'll be waiting there. Battle Brother. Very interesting intro. I'm kind of excited. I'm more interested in this new faction he's making, though, than saving my son. My son looks pretty ugly. In the world, beautiful open world. I'm going to look at the map in a second. That's the first thing I want to do. It looks insane. Chapter 1, The Attack. Damn it! Was that... I'm really not doing all that great. What was that sound? I don't trust the old man's judgment. I should look for a healer among the berserkers. You have received your jetpack. Press LT to activate it. Pay attention to the fuel levels. So the jetpack was also an Elix 1. We can also sleep here. Uh, but there's a healing potion here, so I'm going to grab that. And also a chest. A red gemstone. Bonus plus one to heavy punch. Oh, interesting. And we can sell this. We have lock picks, a lifeblood chem, plus 300 health, and some more small healing potion. Can I hover with the jetpack? Ooh. Oh, that's sick. Okay, big fan. Oh my god. Okay, so we're here. This is the coast. And then we have... Still going. Oh my god. Okay, the map is massive. Oh, it's still up here as well. Jesus. Okay, yeah, the map is absolutely huge. Apparently, Fial, who's located just here, knows about my son. So we'll head over there shortly. But first, what is this creature? Come at me, bro. Let's battle. I know you want to fight. You go first. Fine, I will go first. Oh, God. Aha! Run! Oh, your health has decreased. Look at his little face. There we go, finished him off. Go ahead, Luton. We get experience for killing these guys. It's pretty good to kill the enemies you can kill early on, I would say. He's also poisoned me with something. I don't know what that was. There used to be an elevator here. We also have a full armor set, weapons, abilities, which we can level up, including crafting, personality. Go ahead and eat some meat. As you can see, it refills our health pretty slowly. I guess the health potions are a lot faster acting. I want to keep ourselves in check. 
There must be something around. Right. Yeah, there is. What's that? Oh, you can grab things now. How do I ungrab this? There we go. Uh, what's this? Spears? Wait, oh my god, we need to try that. Try that bit. Okay, so next we're going to run down this road, take out this creature on its own here. It's having a nice little cat. Kind of reminds me of my cat in a weird way. Oh! Get back! Whoa, okay. I had no stamina left to do anything there. Oh, Jesus, it's killing me pretty quickly. Oh, goodness me. Lucky we ate that meat. Let's eat some more meat. Definitely gonna need some more food. Hello? Jax! So glad you're alive. We feared the worst. Running that what meat. What happened here? Uh, caught us completely off guard. During the night watch, they blindsided us. The strange intruders? No, no. The Morcons. See here? They're fallen bloodhounds. The biggest group of them is already moving back up north. He was definitely sleeping. There's no way he got blindsided. Where's Dex? Where's my son? His mother took him with her. Kyle was here? With him? Oh. Yes. And she followed the Morcons north. You know she'll never rest until she's defeated them all. Kaya was in the first game, and I assume we're still in a relationship. Can you heal me? Can you heal me? Of course. I can give you a few flasks. But we need the rest for our wounded. <laughs> you look like shit, Jax. I'm... I'm alright. Just got bitten by one of those damn creatures. Shit. Better get that looked at. Of course, thanks. Obviously. Wow, I didn't think of that. Idiot. <laughs> Can I say that? I wonder what he says. Wow, I didn't think of that. Idiot. Hmm. <laughs> Those large purple formers. Ever see them before? Oh, when the outsiders arrived, they spread out down south. We saw a lot of their creatures when we were out hunting. <laughs> Couldn't always deal with them, though. Had this whole battle of the factions to deal with. You have a healer who can look at my bite? You have a healer who can look at my bite? The infection? Well, most are dead. But Kaya survived. She's the best mage of all of us. Show her your injuries. Why'd you stay here, anyway? Why'd you stay here? I am a warlord of the Berserkers. I have responsibilities. I can't just leave the world hard defenseless after an attack like this. Men trust in my leadership. Got the uh, budget Witcher logo. The world heart is still intact? <sighs> Thank the stars. The Morcons were only out to kill Berserkers and take our horde of Alexit. The world heart is unscathed. It continues to deliver mana to the earth. Nature will soon flourish here in Caracas. It's strange that the Morcons dared to go so far. Yes, very strange indeed. They usually keep their destructive urges inside their grotto. Something must have roused them. Probably those intruders and their bizarre creatures. Uh, maybe. But I believe they have other motives. They're religious fanatics who worship a violent god. Who can guess what motivates such people? Hmm? Well, when you meet Kaya, be patient with her. She's taken the losses over the last few days quite hard. She fought the Morcons to the very end. Tried to prevent the worst. Giving me advice about my wife? Hmm? Very strange. Oh, a simple sword received from the dead person. Fantastic. I will, of course, use it. Great effect. That was very interesting. We got the option to be polite to him or or aggressive, and we chose to be kind of an arsehole, really. And uh, that actually affected our character stat. 
you can see we are slightly onto the destructive side of neutral. So apparently to equip the bow, we need 13 dexterity, but we currently only have 10. What is this? Whoa. The smith. You've really got to watch your back around here. Caracas is a tough place. Trouble? Obviously. It takes its toll. We can always use more people. But, though we may be few, at least I have materials for weapons so we can fend off external attacks. You have weapons for me too? Do you have a weapon for me too? I don't give weapons away for free, if that's what you're asking. But I've got a little forge and you're welcome to use it if you want. Fantastic. If you don't know how it works, I might be able to teach you something, but I won't do it for free. So you should have a little experience and a couple of shards in your pocket. If you're looking to buy something, I've got a few things lying around, but I need most of what I've got for the boys. The boys. Teach me. Could you teach me something? What do you want to know? You have found your first trainer. Trainers can help you to learn skills. You can look at the skill description to find out what qualifications you need to learn a skill, what it costs, and what trainers can teach you. So we have lock picking. There's even one that stops lock picks from breaking, which was ideal for me. Um, we also have pickpocketing, chemistry, hacking, mining, animal trophies, building weapons, gemstone sockets, which uh, give enchant ability to weapons, um, and also creation of ammunition. I'm going to start with weapon build weapon. I really want to test this out. And we need strength and constitution to level it up again. Okay, now let's try blacksmithing. So currently we have a damaged lead pipe. If we had three of them, we could upgrade them to increase the damage. And that's basically how the weapon upgrade system seems to work. But obviously I need to explore that further. And now I think I might sell the stuff I don't need to this gentleman. We can also sell some of our valuables as well because we don't need to carry them around. Alright, let's go and check out these other bodies here from the enemy faction at Bloodhound. They have some more currency and also a spoon we could sell later. And a simple blade. Let me actually use that one. Fine. So the simple blade is better than the simple sword. However, we do not have the stats to use it yet. We're going to have to wait for that. Right, so now we need to head on further north to that watchtower, I believe. Where we can meet this healer that we got recommended. We kind of want to try and take out this dragonfly looking creature though. Oh, hello. Oh god, it's angry. Oh, I just kicked it and it stabbed me in the head. Oh my god, I've angered it. Firing fireballs at me now. Oh. Yeah, let's go for the power attack. Yes! Big damage on it. Come at me, bro. Oh, God. Sometimes it looks like it's going to attack, but it just doesn't. And that really throws me off. Got some chitin armor from it. Also some more loot around here. Let me know, by the way, guys, if you like the exploration gameplay or if you'd rather just have me focus on the main story. I don't know what kind of gameplay you're looking for. Whee! Oh, okay. Scrap, Elex. Mate, this guy got absolutely shredded. He has no skin left. He was just trying to eat a garlic bread sandwich. And then someone came and skinned him from behind. <laughs> like, what's happening? Let's eat this. Regen some health. Work our way over towards this watchtower. I, I spent so much time in the first game. It's just so enjoyable to play. I think I'm probably going to go for a melee build this time. Uh, I definitely want to explore some ranged ability too. Giant chicken. That means giant chicken. He's angry now. Oh god! Come on then. Fight me, giant chicken. Big damage. Got him on the butt. Oh! Absolutely yeeted him into oblivion there. A young screamer. What does the adult version look like then? 
See the mountains up there. Just want it gives me like a little bit of that Skyrim feeling, you know, like when you want to go and explore over that hill and you have a jetpack, so literally everything in this game is accessible. Oh, here we are. Well, they have crossbows. Oh. I want to see Kaya. I don't think they can hear you, mate. But what did he say? I don't know. Never seen this guy in Let my life. Through. Convenient jetpack is convenient. Hi. He looks mad. Finally, Whoa. the mysterious stranger honors us with his presence. Sorry, I got held up. Oh, well, how can I complain when faced with such a valid reason? <laughs> All right, I get it. You're angry, but I've spent a few days out cold in some ruins. Is that so? And how did that happen? Maybe you haven't realized, but we have a new enemy. Yeah, I noticed. As if I didn't have enough problems. As you can see, my hands are pretty much full. Why is she so sarcastic? No, something is wrong. I need your help. No, something's wrong. I need your help. You look exhausted. What happened? One of those creatures, one of the invaders, it bit me. The old man says I'm infected, but he didn't know what with. Well, I can probably mix you something once I'm back home in Tavar. But we're in the middle of a battle with the Morkons. So I'm afraid you'll just have to hang in there for the moment. Fine. I don't recognize you anymore. You're obsessed. <laughs> I don't recognize you anymore. You're obsessed with the fight against the Morkons. Did you see what they did at the World Heart? It was a massacre. They practically wiped out all our warriors. We have to strike back before they can reach the grotto. Once they disappear inside, we'll be dealing with more than just their bloodhounds. They'll unleash their destroyers, and who knows what else on us. I'll take care of your Morkan problem. Ooh, we could offer. You're going to take our son on one of your expeditions? He's better off staying with us right now. There have been far too many attacks on the fort lately. He's not safe there anymore. Oh yeah, much safer out here. I don't need a lecture from you. Mister, I like to disappear into my hut when things get difficult. <laughs> Actually, the hut is gone. Buried under one of those flying fortresses. I'm happy to hear it. I never understood why you chose to hide in there instead of living with us. Yeah, we are a bit weird, aren't we? I didn't want to burden you with my problems. I didn't want to burden you with my problems. I respected you too much for that. Don't make me laugh. You felt wounded because the faction leaders wouldn't listen to your warnings of the potential dangers. And instead of accepting that failure and moving on, you curled up into a ball and wasted years of your life. You were a great man once, Jax. Think of all you did. Fighting your own people, storming the Ice Palace, defeating the hybrid. You used to be a baller. Now you're just a loser. boss from Elex 1. Back when I was a great man. <laughs> then stuff great men do. Not everyone remembers it that way. I was there, and that is exactly what happened. No matter what people remember, or choose to remember. Well, those potential dangers, as you call them, are right in front of us now. We both saw this coming. And now it's up to us to fight for everyone's survival. I know, just as it ever was. People are too preoccupied with their own lives to worry about the future of humanity. But that doesn't mean you should ignore your own life. If only you had been a real father to Dex, none of this would have happened. <laughs> Do you think I should have left him on the battlefield at the World Heart then? No, of 
course not. Anyway, Asker will take good care of him. He would never leave him behind. Unlike you. Oh god, I felt terrible for something I didn't even do. Where's Dex now? Dex needs to be somewhere safe. Dex needs to be somewhere safe. Really? Then why don't you do something about it? It's about time you took care of your own son. I just hope you know what you're doing. I've been speaking to this old man, Adam. He's been treating my wounds. He said the Bastion in the North should expand, become a major power. Sounds like that would be a safe place. What are you talking about? Adam? An old man? For goodness sakes, Jax, what have they done to you? Are your senses so impaired that you can't see what's in front of you? What's that supposed to mean? There is only one old man in the Bastion who fits your description. And that is Dawkins. Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins. I was speaking to Dawkins? I don't believe it. I was talking to Dawkins? I don't believe it. How badly did they hurt you, Jax, for you not to recognize him? This is the man who set the Alps against the free people, who plunged Magalon into years of war, all for the hybrid. The miserable bastard who, let's not forget, was inside a mechanical pod until recently. Of course, he's but a shadow of what he was. It almost sounds like you would have forgiven all his crimes against humanity. The killing machine from back then has been destroyed. The shattered husk that survived barely has the strength to tell you what he knows. Dawkins is just an old man now. Without his machine, I don't think he's anything to worry about, to be honest. Uh... Oh, that explains a few things. I should pay him another visit. Yeah, why don't you do that? After all, he only stole a whole year of your life. We need to talk about this new enemy. We're gonna have a lot to deal with. I know. That's one reason I'm out here. Because of that and all the other threats to our lands. I always expected something like this. Just not this soon. Could it be the aware that the hybrid spoke of? It's more than that. I think he might have even called them here somehow. One of the last things the hybrid did was to fire a signal into the sky. It caused a strange celestial phenomenon no one's been able to explain. That isn't a comforting thought. People need to prepare for what's coming. But damn it, I just don't have the time right now. I can't leave until I solve this situation with the Morcons. <laughs> People need to prepare, but damn it, I don't have the time. I'll take care of your Morcon problem. And how are you going to do that? You're sick. I'm going to need your help against these invaders. It's pointless for you to waste your energy on trivial skirmishes. A couple of Morcon bloodhounds won't be able to stop me. Very well. I'll gather my men and prepare for a retreat. But be careful. Those animals will do anything to get their hands on Alexit. Tactical retreat, eh? Where's Dex now? He's nearby. Asker is teaching him a lesson in patience. You would think he would have learned that from us. Oh, very funny. What? Don't you think I know I could have done better too? That this wasteland is no place for him? We've got tons of experience and we've just leveled up. Find a teacher to spend your learning point to skill. Look after Dex, do you hear me? I will, He'll kill woman. you if anything happens to him. We have 10 points to spend on our attributes. So what I'm going to do is have a look at this sword. And that will also allow us to use the bow as well. So 16 strength and... 13 dexterity and then we'll put one in health as well you we also have intelligence and cunning for magical abilities but we're gonna go for a warrior type character right now at least the bow oh this is gonna be good fun okay i want to try out the bow combat oh some mana and a cabbage oh it's a salad sorry oh jeez i was gonna jump off the building there uh, we can also sleep here. We can open this safe, which is unlocked. We need to loot. I mean, since they're retreating, I have no qualms stealing all of their stuff. You have found fuel. You can use a jetpack workbench to increase the fuel supply of your jetpack. Oh, awesome. Okay. I'm going to loot everything here. Can we loot these weapons? 
Bray cheese received. What ungodly American creation is that? I know it was you guys. You Americans in the comments. Bray on cheese. Does that exist? I bet it does. Look at that view. That looks epic. So apparently my son is just over here to the north. Jump off here. Go below. Oh! Yeah, okay, we're good. We've landed safely. I'll loot all this stuff before we leave, though. You're pushing your luck. Oh, okay. He doesn't like it when I just randomly pick stuff up. I guess doesn't technically belong to me. Okay. All right, let's go and find our son. Apparently, it is over here somewhere. In that building on the cliff top. Hey. I don't see any enemies around. There. Oh, there's a rat. I'm going to shoot this creature in the background there. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Oh, he's dodging me, though. Oh, my goodness. Get back. Ow. Study experience. It's uh, the bow gameplay that makes me wish I'm playing on PC because I'm so used to like FPS games. On PC compared to trying to use it on an Xbox controller. Okay, let's run up and see Dex, our son, and see how he is. Maybe they're using him as bait against the enemy. Seems like our son also lives in a shack. Is that our son? Is it true the Morcons are bad people, Father? Where did you hear that? Mother says they invaded our camp at the World Heart and killed lots of us. It was really horrible. Why are the Morcons doing this? It's hard to explain. I don't get it. Only bad people would do something like that. Wouldn't they? And this is actually quite an interesting conversation. Well, we'll make sure nothing like that happens again. The Morcons are led by their own religion. Yeah, let's talk about religion. It's not something a boy your age should ever have to see. Well, let's explain. The Morcons are led by their own religion. They believe in darkness and self-destruction. But that doesn't mean they can just kill people like that. No, of course not. It was a small group. I'm sure not all Morcons are like that. Hmm, you mean those weren't real Morcons? They were, but I think they attacked the World Heart because they were bad people, not because they were Morcons. You're right, Father. It's hard to explain. You're a very smart 80-year-old man trapped in a child's body. What are you up to? What are you up to? Mother says I have to wait here until she finishes her work. But she's taking so long. Can we go somewhere else? It's probably for the best. You're not safe out here. Wait here. I'll take care of it. Yeah, wait, wait. That's all I ever do around here. You have to let Asgard know we're leaving too. Or we might get worried. Mission 1, Guardian A. Jax! Glad you're here. Kaya and the little one were worried. <laughs> yeah, let's challenge him. Kaya left you in charge of our child? She did, and I consider it an honor. I know you're both busy. And I see no signs of that changing anytime soon. Hey, how is he? How's my son? Doing pretty well, considering recent events. But it's, it's too much for a boy his age. He shouldn't even be here. Well, his mother wanted him with her. Ah, these last few days have been something else. Turbulent times we live in. I'm taking the boy to the Bastion. I'm taking the boy to the Bastion. Kai and I think it's the best thing for him, given the circumstances. Won't hear me complaining. Means you're responsible for the boy from here on out. The Bastion is in the north, right? The ruins where that Dawkins fellow lives? Seems like everybody but me knows who the old man is and what he's up to. 
Well, you've clearly been out of town for quite some time. Clearly. I'll head out to the Bastion right away then. Do Gotta get the place that. ready. I'll see you there. Watch yourself out there. What else is in here? Let's raid our wife's shack. A general remedy, eh? Take the car. This is my toy now. And there's a photo here as well. What is that? What is a disgusting drawing? A little happy tiger under the moon. A lion of some kind. Toy train? You're not allowed toys. This is the apocalypse. Crack easy lock. Oh my god. Oblivion lock picking flashbacks. Move the lock to the left. I, I don't know what I did, but this is all mine now. I mean, I'm only stealing from my wife. Come with me. Come with me. I'll get you out of here. Really? I don't have to wait anymore? Yes. I'll take you to the Bastion. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Asker says there's ghosts. Really? That's what he tells you. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> okay. I love ghosts. Come on. We've got to go now. Come on, child. Dex has joined you, so you have followers in this game as well. I hope you're good in combat, because we're going to the Morkonauts base now, and we're going to go and slaughter them. Um, I don't have a weapon to give you, though, so you can hide in a bush or something. Where have you been all this time? I'm not sure I should tell you. Oh, come on. I'll understand. I was unconscious, so I couldn't come see you. Unconscious? Really? Like when all the lights go out and everything? That's right. Wow. Why were you unconscious? There were these, uh... Come on. We gotta keep moving. When your dad's embarrassed? Come on, Jax. I like how my name is Dex and my dad's name is Jax. Wait, Thumper. Thumper receives. Is that a unique weapon? That looks pretty unique. I need 48 strength and 24 constitution to use it. A young prickleback. Oh, that wasn't a lot of damage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Son, we're going to die. Oh! Son, run for your life! Oh, God. Son, it's coming for us. Oh! Okay. We're all dead. All right, we're back, and this time we're carrying on towards the bastion. Keep moving, son. You may be attacked by something. This isn't a safe environment to be walking around in. What are these purple things? I'm here, son. Can you touch this for me? I want to see what happens. There's so many, like, floral herbs around. I don't know what any of them do yet, but I'm sure we'll discover it. My son doesn't have a jetpack, so I guess we'll just leave him behind and hope that he can somehow follow us. Oh no, there's a path. Come on, son, hurry up. I don't have all day. My name is Jaximus. Hello there. Asgard. Already heading to the Bastion, like he said he was. I like how games actually do that and uh, don't just teleport the NPC, but they make them walk there. Hello? Oh. Hey, you asshole! What are you doing rifling through my stuff? What are you on about? You live here? Do I live here? What do you think? No, I just keep all my stuff here just for show. Oh, okay. So some idiot passing by can take what he likes. I didn't take him. Of course I live here, and you better get the hell out. So scram! Never speak to my son or me again. Come on, son. I thought he was doing doing some common thievery before leaving there. Whoa, whoa! That was fun. I wish we could spend more time together. You have a well, jetpack? No, I have to. Yeah, I know. You have lots to do. But still, it'd be really great if you came to visit sometime. Yeah. Stick with Asker. He'll look after you while I'm gone. Okay, Dex, you do that. I'm going to leave you here now. Dex left the group, thank God. Now we need to go and take out the bloodhounds that killed us just now. That is actually our next objective. Let's see how that goes for us.
Now I'm interested if we can just walk up to these guys and have a conversation or if they're going to attack me immediately. So let's see what happens. Hello there? Oh. That's close enough, shithead. What do you want? He's not very friendly. A Morcon patrol? And it looks like you made a good score. That's our fucking business. Hey, those berserkers from the World Heart in the West didn't send you, did they? Because if so, you better understand that those assholes attacked first. We was just defending ourselves. In the name of Ravak. Yeah. So they lost some people, what can I say? They shouldn't have fucked with us. Well, shit happens, right? Take a breath, I don't want any trouble. What if someone did send me? You're a disgrace to the Morgans. You should all be sent to the Blood Sister. <laughs> I want to say that. You're a disgrace to the Morgans. You should all be sent to the Blood Cistern. How about you climb down out of my ass and stop lecturing me, scumbag? What do you know about us Morgans, you fucking clown? If I were you, I'd turn around and get the fuck out of here, right now. Otherwise, we're going to teach you about pain. A long, hard lesson. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to deal with them. Let's see if we can get a sneak attack in here, then. There's some enemies up there. I'm just trying to think what the best way of taking these people out is. Definitely going to have to try and take out their leader first. The dragon. Oh, he's got a skull next to him? They all do. Let's just see what happens. Oh, come oh, big on. damage. Come here. Come on, run past it. Big damage. Oh my god, did I kill all of them? That explosion was lethal. Okay, there's actually a few left. Three out of five. Oh no, I've killed all of them. Destruction increased. Can I loot them? Shotgun shells. Oh my god. Damage spike club. <laughs> to slaughter all of them. I don't know if the rest of the faction knows that I've killed them or what. But that was uh, pretty awesome. Damage shotgun received. My first range weapon. We were so lucky. We were using a bow against their shotgun. We found a retro rocket. Retro rockets prevent you from falling to your death. Because clearly falling to your death with the jetpack is a big issue. loot all their stuff now it's mine i can't believe that explosion killed them all it was so powerful instantly wipes them no, there is a just, no, crack just easy lock yet. can't open that so you need 35 dexterity and 35 strength to use a shotgun great i really wanted to try one out but it seems like you really have to invest to experiment all right we're now back at their base camp and we're just heading up the stairs here to have a chat with her I know we've slaughtered all of them. I've been taking good care of Dex. Yeah, it's a brownie points. Good. As long as he's with you or Asgar, I won't worry so much. She accepts me. I mean, we, we, we had a child together. I would have hoped she'd accept me anyway. You don't have to worry about that Morcon patrol reaching the grotto. You're sure they're all dead? Yes, I am. Good. I have no idea what the Morcons are planning. But if they're so desperate for money, murdering anyone they can find... That sounds more like outlaw behavior. Morcons don't really care about money. Their faith is based on pure destruction. Those particular Morcons must have been working on their own. In any case, thank you for your help. Will you help me now? Will you help me now? I don't know. What did you have in mind exactly? Hey. Well, I think the old man was right. I've been infected with something alien. But what matters right now is how we're going to deal with the invaders. And I've seen you in action. I know what you can do. Such power. Oh, magic. Oh. I like how they're using cutscenes from Elix 1. Games really improved graphically. That was a different time, and a different place. If your disease did come from the invaders, it's unlikely I'll be able to cure you. I'm not a scientist. I deal with magic. 
This is something you'll have to deal with yourself, I'm afraid. She gets me to help her, and then she can't heal me anyway. It's like so manipulative. You knew that. Don't give me that. Just shut up and help me, will you? Wow. That's how bad things have gotten between us. Huh? Yeah, I understand. I guess it'll be nice. There's no point in being a dick here. She's not going to be able to do anything. Hmm. I understand. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Don't look at me like that. All I'm saying is, maybe you're better off asking Dawkins. If anyone knows about this kind of stuff, it would be him. Besides, people of Tavar are counting on me. I can't abandon them now. I'd like you by my side. <sighs> I was worried you'd say that. So, how exactly is this gonna work? You know the kind of threat Magalon is facing. And we were always a good team. It can be just like it was. I see. You have it all figured out. We'll need somewhere we can meet up if we ever get separated. And I can't think of a better place than the Bastion. Alright. With the invaders gathering strength, I suppose I have no choice. And we should look into the Bastion. But like I told you, I have a lot to do, and I may need to deal with matters in Tavar from time to time. We'll work something out. Thanks. Just don't make me regret this. Alright, Lydia. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm all right. Once again, you shouldered a great responsibility. And once again, you overcame every obstacle with composure. He's such a fan. But you ought to pay more attention to the bigger picture. A planet needs more than just humans to be healthy. What do you know about these invaders? I saw their flying fortresses arrive. And those disgusting creatures. Those fortresses have already started transforming the planet's plants and animals. Cool. That's why the old man calls them formers. Do you know how many of them there are? It's hard to say. I know of at least three. Two in Caracas and one in the far west of Tavar. There's probably more in the north. It's clear we need more information. You should talk to Dawkins first. He's bound to know more. What are you doing in Tavar? So just what is it you do in Tavar? I'm a berserker warlord now, and something of an oracle and leader to the people there. My word carries great weight with the other warlords, and they've entrusted me with the safety of Tavar. So if it comes under any threat, I'll have to take action. In that case, these alien invaders should be right at the top of your list. Yes, but they're not the only problem, unfortunately. The other factions are trying to take over our land, and it's up to me to stop them. New mission, securing the land. Oh, can we help out? Follow me. Follow me. If you like. Have you heard anything about your father? Wardek? That traitor? Nothing since the war with the Albs. Why do you ask? The rumor is that he's dead. An experienced Alp commander like him? I don't know. Someone that poisonous is hard to kill. Hmm. Mm. Wonder what this place used to be. What do you mean? You, this is your base. <laughs> so far, I'm really enjoying this game. Like the combat's a little bit janky and stuff, but the RPG and choice that is currently looking like it's there, just like an Elex One, but even built upon, is already exciting me, and I cannot wait to explore this world with you guys. So you can find the next episode linked down below in the description. It's gonna be out probably already by the time you've finished watching this one. But before you go, if you could just drop a like on the video, it really does help support. And of course, if you guys enjoyed what you saw, you can also buy the game for a 10% discount from GOG linked down below in the description.